to you guys today with a ColourPop unboxing. Ah, ah, uh. Because <laughs> ColourPop just came out with uh, press shadows and I haven't bought anything from ColourPop in so fucking long. It's actually pretty ridiculous because I am obsessed with all things fucking ColourPop and I think I've mentioned it once or twice before in my other videos, but I'm just obsessed with ColourPop. I always use their Super Shock shadow. So when I saw that they were coming out with like two palettes and then an array of pressed powders, I was like, yes, bitch, you gotta be on that. Funny thing though is they came out with the palettes, the high, is it high maintenance and low key on Friday at 10 a.m., last Friday. I had just got paid, but I was at work. And I work in a doctor's office up in the front where I can't really like go on sites and do shit without it being like obvious. And the position I was sitting at, like people that were checking in and checking out could see what I was doing. So I was like, fuck, I can't do that. So um, I was like, okay, when I go on lunch, I go on lunch at like 12.30. So I was like, okay, when I go to lunch today, I'm gonna go check. I actually ended up going to lunch at 11.30. Went on the freaking website, the whole shit was sold out. Like the only thing they had was pressed shadows. They didn't have any more high key, I mean, high maintenance or low key palettes. And I was so freaking sad because I haven't been this excited to buy something from ColourPop in a long time. I mean, I'm always excited for their stuff, but I just, I need more eyeshadows and I need more affordable eyeshadow kits. So I was like, I want to get on that. And I was really, really, really obsessed with the um, low key palette. I wanted it so freaking bad, but I didn't get it. So. Like a couple days later, I was like, mm, I have a couple, I have a 20 to spare. Let me go on the site and see what they have. And at the time, I don't know if they're still doing it, but at the time of the um, release, they had the promo where you'd get an empty palette when you bought four or more shadows. So I decided to just be basic and get four shadows. Um, I had a $5 coupon code, which you can get from their website. And basically for me, that covers shipping because they charge you $4.99 for shipping. So my order would have been $25, I think, in some odd change, but it ended up being $19.99. So I'm like, yes, literally spent only $20. So if you want to be like me and bare minimum, but you know, get you some cute shit, fuck with ColourPop. I'm telling y'all, like, fuck with ColourPop. I love them so much. Um, so anyways, enough of me rambling. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, what I got from ColourPop. And if anybody is wondering what I have on my lips right now is Limbo by ColourPop. Obsessed with Limbo. Wear Limbo all the time. Every time I wear it, I get a compliment. It's like the perfect fucking brown. Like, fucking obsessed with it. I wear it all the time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox these for you guys. I partially did my makeup today because... I'm going to go ahead and also do like a first impressions um, and you know how they apply and everything. So that video will be after this one. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and thumbs up this video, leave some comments down below, just so I know that you guys are here and rocking with me and I'll have that video up for you guys really soon. So it came, I already ripped this shit all the way up. It came, I was too fucking excited. Ooh, like has fluff in the package. Like the fluff that's ew. It already has the fluff in the package. Um, it's not like typical ColourPop. Um, I guess because it was only I don't know why they changed to these type of um, packages. Okay, I thought I had fluff in my face. I don't know. I don't know. Last time I got something from ColourPop, it was in a box. It was like you know, it wasn't the cute box that they had initially when they first started, it was like just a regular standard PO box, but I guess because I ordered more stuff. Um, but to be honest, the stuff I ordered last time could have fit in this packaging too, but I guess this time they decided to send this package. It's just like a little um, envelope. And I ripped it all up, but this is how it's packaged on the inside, if that matters to some people. And so when I opened the package, Of course, anytime you get anything ColourPop, you always get the little ColourPop thank you card. So it says, may all your troubles last as long as your New Year's resolutions, XOXO ColourPop. 
Um, and then of course I got my little receipt of what colors I got. And I don't know if you guys know, but with ColourPop, you cannot return unless it's something that's damaged, which I understand because it's very cost efficient. So just if anybody cares, you cannot return stuff unless it was damaged in shipping. Um, and then as with always, ColourPop always sends you this little um, booklet that basically tells you how to apply their products, how to remove it, like little tips and tricks. Um, so for like the Super Shock Shadow, the cheek, the lippy sticks, um, and all that stuff they tell you how to apply them so that's a cool little um, booklet I think that's kind of cool they tell you how to wear their products like how to use it um, to get the best you know colors and stuff so enough of that which you guys have all been waiting for and like I said when I if you order four shadows you get a an empty palette so this is the palette that I got. I think it's pretty standard. I think everyone gets this little palette. So this is how it looks. Um, it's a regular eyeshadow palette, I guess. But I think I'm going to prefer when I buy more shadows from them. I think I'm personally going to buy a Z palette because I could fit more in it. And these palettes, it was free. Not a lot. But... <laughs> Like under it, you could see the legitimate price and they crossed it out like to show that it was free. Um, and it was $7. And I'm sorry, but I'm not paying you $7 for this palette. I'm not paying you $7 for that. Because I can add, what, 7 or $8 more to say and get myself a Z palette where I can fit way more shadows. So I probably wouldn't buy a palette from them. It just came with it as free. And I appreciate it for now because I don't have a Z palette yet. But I think I'm going to end up investing in a Z palette because... Yeah, I'm not gonna buy seven, I'm not gonna pay seven dollars every time I buy four shadows. It's not fucking happening. Um, but yeah, so it's like a little um, magnetic strip here. It's kind of hard to find to be honest, but you know, once you turn it around a little bit, you realize. So this is a little magnetic pal, uh, clasp or whatever you'd like to call it. And it opens up like so. And they give you like the little guard. A little, you probably can't, oh, there you go, you can see it guard that you put over it or that you normally get over like your eyeshadow um, kits when you buy them and that's like four little pots for you to, um, or four little holes for you to put the pot in so yeah the only thing I can say about this though like I guess it's like efficient if you want to run out the house you can literally like go to your purse but then again they have Z palettes that are travel size too so you know I probably would prefer to get a Z palette if I when I buy more shadows from them um, okay, so the first shadow, I'm going to take it out and put it in the palette as we go. The first shadow is Get Out. And it comes in like this little packaging here with the pressed powder. Um, and you know so crazy? Like, I don't know. I'm so used to ColourPop's products looking like humongous and like you're getting so much for like next to nothing. So when I first saw this and I opened it, I was like, what? Why is it so fucking little? But it's really not little. It's a lot. Okay, so then when you open it, it's this little packaging here. I don't know if you can tell from the side. It's actually like a pretty good amount of product. Um, or the pan is a good depth. Um, so yeah. And I said this one was Get Out which is like a nice dusty rose. It is so pretty. I'm trying to show you guys got it falling out. It is such a beautiful dusty rose. So I guess I'll swatch it on my hand for you guys. So that's what it looks like. There it goes, get out. The next one that I got, um, y'all know I love me some browns and some shimmers. So and like deep colors, like oh my god, these are probably all the ones that are in the high keep, um, the high maintenance palette or the low keep palette. Um, but neither here nor there. This next one, again, you already seen the packaging, is Cloud Nine. It's like a nice, pretty, pretty, like brown, plum, like a deep plum brown color. Let me try to swatch this one for you guys too. I feel like it's not gonna show up because my skin is so light, I mean, so dark. So I don't know if it's gonna show, but I'm attempting for you guys. So that's the Cloud Nine. So 
So, so far we have Get Out and Cloud Nine in the ballot. What the fuck happened? How's it low battery already? All right, guys, sorry about that. So, so far we have Get Out and Cloud Nine in our palette. Ugh. And I tried to show you guys the colors on my hand. So it's Get Out, I mean, sorry, Cloud Nine and then Get Out. So hopefully that's, you guys, the next color I got was Cute Alert. <coughs> oh, bless me. This one, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like a darker, a dark, darker rosy color, I guess. It's like a rose, like darker color to the um, get out, I guess. It looks a little similar. So that's how it looks. Ooh, I just dropped it. Thank God it didn't break. I would have fucking cried. Okay, so that's this one. Let me see if I can swatch it for you guys, if it'll show up on my skin tone. Oh. Okay. So, so far we have Cloud9, Get Out, and from top to bottom, Cloud9, Get Out, and Cute Alert. Alright. So, the last color that I got is Come and Get It. And it's basically like a rose gold color and anyone who knows me knows i'm obsessed with rose gold like obsessed with rose gold eyeshadows like any gold tinted eyeshadow is my life so that's that and i'll have to go ahead and do a hand swatch for you guys oh my god this is so freaking pretty i'm obsessed i am so obsessed that is so pretty all right, so from top to bottom again, we have Get Out. I'm sorry, Cloud Nine, Get Out, Cute Alert. Um, I always forget that third one's thing. Cloud, Get Out, Cloud, Cloud Nine, Get Out, Cute Alert, and Come and Get It. Okay, so from top to bottom, we have Cloud Nine, Get Out, Cute Alert. And come and get it so like these colors are actually pretty bomb this is how they look and oh there you can tell I dropped that one this is how they look in the palette so again I'm gonna go from this side we have come and get it cute alert cloud nine and get out so those are the shadows I got from ColourPop, guys. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and recreate a look next up for you guys with these shadows. So if you'd like to see that, go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video.